Hello and welcome back to Reister King's Gaming Channel. I am Reister King, as always, and today we're here to talk about playing PC VR games with your Quest 2. So why would you want to connect your Quest to your PC? Well, there is a whole world of AAA looking titles out there for PC right now. Things like Hard Bullet, Hell Split Arena, uh, Lone Echo, there is a ton for you to go and experience and it opens up an entire new catalog of games that you can get in your life. Um, so if you're getting bored with the Quest library, this is a fantastic way to stay in VR and enjoy yourself. Or if you're super addicted to After the Fall and you think to yourself, man, I wish I could see this, in its highest fidelity then you can you can jump in play some pc vr games and then uh, trust me you'll never look back but for me one of the coolest features about the quest 2 is the fact that it has the ability to play pc vr games using that headset this headset oh. now what are you going to need to be able to do this three things really you're going to need number one most importantly a powerful pc to be able to run vr or a laptop of equal spec Secondly, you're going to need a cable. Now, personally, I use an off-brand cable, but it does the job and it does it well. Sadly, this cable is no longer available, but what I have done is links down below another cheaper alternative, which is the one from VR Cover. You can use my link down below and go pick one up for yourselves. Of course, there is the other option, the more expensive option, which is buying a cable directly from Oculus, which I'll also have linked down below so that you can go check, check that out and uh, make your own choice for yourself. I know a lot of people want to just go with what is given to you, so that's completely Completely fair but I do want to let you know that there are other options that are far cheaper and do the job the same way. Bear in mind though that not all cables are created equally and you do need one that can high speed like high with a high speed bandwidth in it so um, that's kind of important so I would recommend that you either go with something like the VR cover one or you go with the you know the official branded oculus one. Thirdly the last thing you're going to need of course is your quest 2 so make sure you uh, have that ready. Now a quick and easy tip before you get going, before you've purchased any of your cables, before you've done anything, is to make sure that your PC is VR ready. Now if you don't already have Steam, I have it linked down below, you can go over to the Steam website, download Steam, install it, and this is basically like your PlayStation Store of games for your PC. Uh, also covering obviously all your VR games and everything like that. Once you have that downloaded, you can navigate your way over to the Steam VR test. Now if you run this test, it will test all the components in your PC and let you know if you are capable enough to run PC VR. Now I do recommend that you do this because it is a really fast and clean way to find out whether you actually have the specs in order to do this. Before you've dropped any cash on cables or anything else or got hyped about the idea of doing this, it's just a nice easy way to find out whether you can or cannot run VR via your system. So once you've done this and you've got the A-OK, -okay, I can now play VR, I know that my system is capable of doing so, then we can move on to the next step. Now at this point you want to go over to the Oculus Store, which I have linked down below, and you will download the Oculus software for your PC. Once you have that installed, well, then you're ready to begin the process. Now, the first step you want to do is plug in your cable. Once you have done this, I kind of recommend that you get something like a Velcro strap or an adhesive something to hold that cable over to one side. You don't want that thing dangling around, you definitely don't want to accidentally pull it out. So personally, I like to sort of wire it around to the back so that it runs off the back of my head. Nice and easy, out of the way, no likeliness of ripping it out of your head because, quite frankly, That'd be a bad day. Once you have this plugged in, you will get a pop-up inside of your headset saying, would you like to connect via the link cable? You'll say, absolutely. So click on that link. So once you've okayed it in your headset, you want to add the device on your Oculus app on the PC. Now, all you have to do is go over to the devices, add device, and you will see your Quest 2 pop up. Once you've done that, you should get three green lights indicating that your headset, your controllers are all connected. Also, there is a sub menu you hear that can go through all the various different options. Uh, you don't really need to touch this, but if you do need anything, it's all in there. Straight away, you'll be taken into the Oculus Homes environment. Once you're in this environment, it will give you the ability to play any PC VR game that you have installed already on your Oculus account, or if you wish to, you can then go over to Steam and play your Steam VR library too. So once you're in there, click over on the monitors and you'll see a list of your monitors available. Click on the relative monitor that's going to have the Steam 
accessed on it. Once you're in a library, you can go to any of your games, pick a game, hit play, and you'll go straight into it in VR. It is that simple, guys. It could not be easier to get in and play games via your Steam account. So that isn't your only option anymore, though. You now have a second option, which is Airlink. So if you want the freedom of having absolutely zero cables attached to you, then you now have the Airlink option. Now, this has been out for a while, and it has been, in my mind, kind of done really well. It's it's pretty seamless, it's a good experience, and uh, as long as you have a fast Wi-Fi connection, you're pretty much laughing all the way home when it comes to this. What are you going to need to do this is a decent router. It's kind of the most important component in doing the air link. Uh, you're going to need either a Wi-Fi 5 or Wi-Fi 6 router words are hard to say <laughs> uh, but you are going to need a decent router for this personally i have a dedicated one in my office that is purely just for using the quest it gives me the cleanest connection without having a bunch of devices connected to it uh, i also personally use a wi-fi 5 router which is more than capable of this but if you're going to go into this like for something dedicated try and get a wi-fi 6 one because it'll be even better and a faster connection plus it's going to be future proof for all your other devices going forward. Now it's time to get set up with your AirLink. First of all, open up the Oculus app on the PC, pop on your headset and go into the settings menu. In the settings menu, there is an experimental tab. Click that and then there you will find AirLink. Turn it on and then once you've turned it on, you will get a pop-up window come inside of the headset. Once you've okayed that, you'll get a pop-up window inside of the headset with a code. Then you'll need to okay this on the PC, making sure that the code is the same on both the Quest and the PC. And then once you put your headset back on and you've okayed that, you'll okay it inside the headset and that's it. You're good to go. Go over to the connection, connect, and that's it. As simple as that. You're then connected to your PC wirelessly and my goodness could it be any easier so there you have it guys you now have the tools and the knowledge of how to play pc vr via your quest 2. welcome to the world of pc vr it is a world that you're probably never going to want to go back from because uh you know it's high fidelity gaming and the graphically it is stunning and there is such a world of catalog of games that you can now go and experience so uh go and enjoy yourselves um i made this video because quite honestly i've been asked so many times how do i play pc games with my quest 2 and i've also been asked that question <laughs> one one too many million times so um so this is why this video has come about also i know that a lot of you guys may have just got your vr headset for christmas and you're looking for a way to be able to do this so i hope this guide finds you and it's helped you out at all if it has then please do smash like on this video and subscribe for more content like this on this channel we do cover everything from new games to reviews to guides so so if you want to figure out any of those things or keep up to date with all things VR, then make sure you are subscribed with that notification bell. ding -li dong ding -di ding ding dong Other than that, guys, take care, have an awesome day, and go and play some PC VR games with your Quest 2. Roll outro.